Is it easier as a play caller when the defense is playing as well as they are out there? Oh, no doubt, man. Hats off to those guys. They, they did an unbelievable job. Three turnovers, getting us more opportunities. Um, but, but anytime you know you got a solid defense, you're going to be a little more aggressive. Uh, especially that was a plan in the first half. Just get out to a good start, and they started playing well. We put some points on the board. And came out in the second half, still wanted to be aggressive, but we put ourselves behind the chains, and they were playing so well. Uh, we didn't want to put that in the bind. When you see Tavian break out like that, he's been so close to doing that so many times. How good is that for you, who's been there for so long, and certainly knowing the kind of kid that he is? Well, that's, that's, more, that's more for him. You know, as, as, as a coach, our job is just to put him in a, in a position to be successful and really, really happy for him to have some success, especially in the passing game. Uh, you know, he had some success running the ball, but to see him have a long catch, he's been uh, he's been talking and asking, can I get a wheel route, can I get something down the sideline, get me in space, and, you know, and really the credit is to Kelly. Kelly went through a full field progression. Taven was a third read, he found him, and, and Taven was able to convert for a touchdown. Third top 15 win, and we're not, we just now got to October, since it's so late. Uh, what's the mindset of this team, and how is the success of the last couple years playing a role in the knowing that they are in every game and should win every game? Well, I think the success is, has just proved to them that that's, that's, that's what we do. You know, every game is the most important game on the schedule. Coach Sweeney does an unbelievable job of creating that mindset. And, and, uh, and Wake Forest is a really, really good team, and that's going to be the biggest game on the schedule when we come back to the Valley this week. So, you know, the guys understand that they win because of the way they prepare. And if you saw this team, the way they walked into the stadium, there was just a, a calm, collective spirit about them. You could tell that they were confident because of the preparation. And, you know, that's all. That's what it comes down to. Obviously, you got to win your one-on-one -on -one matchups on the field, but really, the game is one in the mind and the heart before you even step on the field. This is the, the toughest environment for a lot of these young players. Just your thoughts on how Kelly and some of those guys responded? You know, we're really pleased you know, to, to come out. I think in the second half, obviously, statistically, we probably would have had a better one to have a better output. But to come out with no turnovers, uh, to be explosive in the first half, to put points on the board, um, you know, be very, very good in the uh, in the red zone in terms of getting opportunities to score. And, and the biggest thing is that to handle the noise, no turnovers, to give ourselves an opportunity to execute. You know, that's big for these guys, and, and they play in Death Valley too. We got an unbelievable atmosphere at home, and, and so those guys are, are tested every single week. And you know, I think a lot of the guys came to Clemson because when they come on their visit, they, they realize that there's a confidence about us, and it's not an arrogance, but it's a confidence because obviously we got the best venue in the country to play in, but the way we practice, the way we prepare, these guys know that any environment that they go into, they're going to be prepared for.